analysis crooked comey reopened hillary email case in october of 2016 because good cops in the fbi leaked info to congress comey later fired the good cops is it that nice by jim hoff for the gatewaypundit.com fired and corrupt fbi head james comey said that the he only heard about hillary's emails located on anthony weiner's laptop in late october of 2016 but then he said that he was scared that the fbi in the new york in new york would release the emails if he didn't reopen the investigation yes that's what i heard that the cops saying the were saying that if you do not uh uh open up this investigation we're going to release the info on anthony weiner's laptop and it's two years now and we haven't heard anything about what was in it really okay so after performing another fake review of the emails another fake review of course the fbi again exonerated hillary a few days before the november election and they did that in order to cover obama because it would implicate Obama if they uh, prosecuted Hillary. So now, Chairman Devin Nunes from the House report that they had received the emails before the 2016 election, it looks more probable that the emails were leaked to Congress, and that is why Comey reopened the case. No worries, Comey made sure it doesn't happen again as FBI agents in New York were later fired as noted by corrupt FBI agent Peter Strzok in a text to his corrupt FBI attorney girlfriend, Lisa Page. Isn't that something, right? So these people were trying to uh, out Hillary Clinton, and Comey turns around and fires them. Do you see the, the justice in this world, right? Right? The FBI director in in charge uh, of New York office, William Sweeney, was told about the discovery of huge numbers of Clinton emails on Anthony Weiner's laptop on September 28, 2016. Weiner was, was a perp who was married to Hillary Clinton's top aide, Uma Abedin, and was Senator Chuck Schumer's protege. He was under investigation for sexting an underage girl undercover uber i'm going to piece this together from just two sources the justice oig report and comey own book a higher loyalty undercover uber first fbi assistant director in charge adic of new york office william sweeney is told about the discovery of huge number of clinton emails on wiener's laptop on september 28th 2016 he immediately tells fbi deputy director mccabe oh that's why in charge of the midterm exam clinton email case wow sweeney said he spoke again with mccabe on the evening of september 28th sweeney said that during the call he informed mccabe that ny uh, o personnel had continued processing the laptop and that they had now identified 347,000 emails on the laptop. ADIC Sweeney also told two other senior New York officials, and one of them confirms that they also informed McCabe about the Clinton Wiener emails. Wow, that is something. Sweeney also tells other uh, senior FBI leadership two EADs, one of whom tells the OIG under oath that they also inform McCabe about the Clinton Wiener emails. In his mind, there was no doubt McCabe immediately understood the gravity of what the find was. Sweeney said he also called the uh, two FBI uh, executive assistant directors, EAD on September 28th and informed them that the Wiener case team had discovered emails relevant to the mid-year investigation. One of the EADs told the OIG that he then called McCabe and that McCabe told the EAD that he was aware of the emails. The EAD uh, told us that 
There was no doubt in my mind when we finished that conversation that McCabe understood the gravity of what the find was. Then nothing happened for 21 days. It's unclear why or who all knew about the emails, but former FBI head McCabe appears to be the fall guy for delaying doing anything uh, with the emails. I'm surprised they didn't scrub it, right? Then uh, Comey writes in his book that McCabe told him in passing about the Wiener laptop in early October. He says the same thing to the IG, uh, conceding it could also have been late September. So McCabe understood the gravity of the fine and forms Comey straight away, but only in passing. Undercover Uber again tweets, then literally nothing happens for 21 days. That's not an opinion. The IG could find no evidence, zero, that anything happened between October 4th through the 24th either by the midterm uh, exam team or anyone in FBI leadership, including McCabe and Comey. FBI New York then escalate to Department of Justice. Additional discussions took place in October uh, the 3rd uh, and uh, 4th of 2016. However, after October 4th, we found no evidence that anyone associated with the mid uh, mid-year uh, investigation, including the entire leadership team at FBI headquarters, took any action on the Wiener laptop issue until the week of October 24th, and then did so only after the Wiener case agent expressed concern to SDNY, prompting SDNY to contact the Office of the Deputy Attorney General on October 21st to raise concerns about the lack of action, because you can just imagine what was on there, right? Then the story goes that McCabe contacted the team that worked to exonerate Hillary from her email crimes on October 27, 2016, and called for a meeting, yeah, on how to scrub the thing. So, undercover Uber, then literally nothing happens for 21 days. That's not an opinion. The IG finds no evidence, zero, that anything happened between those dates. Only after the DOJ escalation, McCabe emails Comey at the crack of dawn on October 27th, asking him to meet with the mid-year exam team. At 5.30 a.m. on Thursday, October 27, 12 days before the election, McCabe sent me an email saying the mid-year term needed, uh, team needed to meet with me. I had no idea that uh, what that was about, but of course asked my staff to set something up as soon as possible. Later that morning, I walked into my conference room. This was all to try to cover it up. What do you think that was about? Come on. In order to prosecute Hillary? We all know they weren't going to prosecute Hillary. So on October 27, Comey says that he was told that the Wiener laptop contained hundreds of thousands of emails, but we really aren't sure if this was the first time he heard of them. It wasn't the first time. Come on. In his book, he suggests that this is the case. Yeah, right. But who knows? I do. I wasn't even there, and an idiot would know he knew automatically. Was this just another lie from Comey, you think? Anyway, undercover Uber again. McCabe doesn't even attend that meeting because he's out of town in the IG's words. That actually means London. Yes, despite knowing the gravity of the find of the Clinton emails for weeks, he bails to probably do something on Trump Russia instead. That's the insurance policy. At October, the October 27 meeting, Comey is told the Wiener laptop contains hundreds of thousands of Clinton domain emails and that there is no chance a review of them can be completed before the election. You just have to take a look at one of them and you automatically know she's guilty as sin. So I don't understand what, the, what all this hoopla is about. The reason those emails were on Hillary Clinton's uh, the, the Wiener laptop was because Uma was using them as an insurance policy against Hillary just in case she uh, uh, unexpectedly uh, disappeared. You know what I'm talking about? So the team explained that Wiener's laptop contained hundreds of emails, okay, and that there was no chance to uh, survey the emails. 
Comey opened up the Clinton email case again in late October of 2016. Yeah, but yesterday there was a thing, uh, a report going. I guess it was a phony opened up the email case because they said she wasn't uh, under investigation in 2015 nor in 2016. So, okay, so he opened up uh, it, the case again in 2016 of October. Uh, according to the far-left U.S. News and World Report in January of this year, the environment at the FBI was a mess because of Comey. Uh, in fact, internal bureau dissension was part of the context in which Comey made the decision to forego standard FBI practice regarding announcements that could affect ele elections and disclose the new emails to Congress. FBI Director James Comey was driven in part by a fear of leaks from within his agency. Yeah, because they're all scrambling now to cover up for Hillary. So, uh, okay, where was I? All right, related to Hillary Clinton, law enforcement sa uh, sources said on Thursday, Reuters' Mark uh, Hosenbull reported in November of 2016 and as ProPublica in The New Yorker put in last May, there was another motivation for Comey's decision to speak. FBI officials feared that the news of the new emails would leak out, damaging the Bureau and its director, you think? How'd that work out for you, Comey? The primary source of anxiety was the FBI's own New York field office. Yeah, because New York wasn't going to take this crap because they found horrific things on that computer. It wasn't the emails only for pay-to-play. They found disturbing things. Uh, and you know where I'm going with this. Okay, so uh, they they feared that the news of the new emails would leak out, damaging the Bureau and its director. The primary source of anxiety was the FBI's own New York field office, which was handling the Wiener case and harbored deep pockets of anti Clinton sentiment. Yeah, because the New York officers were sick and tired of Obama telling them to stand down. And now Trump got into, uh, finally now at least, got into office. They were sick of it, and I can tell you for a fact. Anyway, Comey's deputy also made clear to a Justice Department official protesting his plan to release the information that the FBI director was very concerned, there goes that word again, concerned, about a leak that the news was coming out anyway. Isn't that something? So in other words, you were trying to cover for Hillary. How much jail time should they get for that? The fact that Comey was scared uh, of individuals within his department leaking the information on the emails is clearly the real reason Comey released the news about the emails and opened up the Clinton bogus e email case again. Bogus, I might add. And uh, Loretta Lynch said, call it a matter just before the election. So they were all deciding how they were going to handle this case in order to exonerate the witch and not like show that she wasn't under investigation. So corrupt and criminal FBI agent Peter Strzok was assigned again to the case. He worked and somehow performed miracles on uh, one... Uh, uh, one million three hundred fifty-five thousand nine hundred and eighty electronic files uh, containing uh, three hundred fifty thousand emails and three hundred forty-four thousand BlackBerry communications that were reviewed between October thirtieth and the morning of November sixth, twenty sixteen. As reported previously, the problem is that there was only three people in the mid-year event team granted authority to physically do the Clinton email review, which was. Lo and behold, FBI agent Peter Strzok was one of them, and he said that they were able to review the number of emails, though the use of some amazing things to rap rapidly de duplicate the emails. So you got the criminals. Uh, yeah, let's have the uh, criminals investigate the criminals. Yeah, right. Now you saw how that worked out. The New York FBI case a, a, a agent uh, uh, signed to the Wiener investigation, a certified digital extraction technician, as well as the FBI forensics team in Quantico, said it was impossible to use the conflicted metadata to deduplicate the emails. Therefore, someone in the FBI is lying again, you think? We now know that some good cops at the FBI did provide information to Congress about Wiener's email. 
uh, Josh Marshall tweets, in light of IG's failure to look at the leaking anti-Clinton bias among agents in the New York City field office, this seems quite relevant. Nunez said good FBI agents told him about Wiener Laptop in late September of 2016. I remember that clip. We also know that Peter Strzok, in a text with Lisa Page, noted that the FBI agents in New York were later fired. This was important enough that they noted it with each other, and also the FBI redacted part of the text messages about these individuals being fired. Clearly, there is more to this text that will be cleared up when unredacted. So, in summary, Comey was forced to reopen the Hillary email scandal due to some good cops in the FBI who leaked the information to Congress later Comey fired these good cops for leaking. And also, what in the hell is in the Wiener emails? Haha, <laughs> it's not the Wiener emails. It's not the Wiener emails. What's on that computer about Hillary Clinton that Uma Abedin listed her data about Hillary under insurance on that on Wiener's laptop and that's why she put it on Wiener's laptop in order for it to be uh, her security just in case Hillary turned on her that all the information would come out and now the New York cops have all this incriminating information and Comey and Strzok and the rest of the criminals were trying to cover it up and they fired the FBI people in New York, the two uh, cops there, that the, the good cops, uh, because they were questioning why isn't this case being opened? Why they? I we heard that the cops were crying what they found on the computer, and I'll tell you one thing: those were not emails. That was uh, that was video copies of things. So just that alone, and that they fired the cops and. Uh, I hope they're still uh, living because, you know, they don't usually leave people uh, walking around with incriminating evidence, you know. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, but let's let's just take a quick listen, even though this is, uh, I had to put this up a while ago. Tell you what we know about that at the time. So we actually had, I've never actually said this before, um, because we had whistleblowers, but we couldn't really use the information. But now that it's in the IG report, we can't. We had whistleblowers that came to us in late September of 2016 who talked to us about this laptop sitting up in New York that had additional emails on it. I mean, the House Intelligence Committee, we had that, but we, we couldn't do anything with it. So when was that again? In 2016. What would you know when exactly? Uh, I think it was late September. Okay, so the, ultimately, they, they didn't move on this until so, late so, October. So good FBI agents brought this to our attention, but what could we do with it? Well, there's another exchange I want to bring to your attention. Very dangerous situation, you see. Very dangerous situation. And so Nunez knows that, that the cops told him what they basically found. <laughs> you can just imagine now... That's why I'm saying this is a very dangerous case, very dangerous situation. Uh, that's why I said bring in the military and get the witch and lock her up and let her explain from a jail cell. You know, I mean, unbelievable, unbelievable. And that's why Hillary was mad at Uma after Wiener got caught and she found out Uma was keeping that insurance policy. Uh, how she, uh, how Uma is still walking around, it's, <laughs> it's kind of beyond me. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.